Green circles. Everyone that knows about them falls into one of two categories. Those that swear by them and use them as a metric to judge you, your gameplay, and your self-worth as a human being, and those who are vehemently against them and think they should be banished to the chaos wastes for the rest of time. Needless to say, the green circles that you see at the end of every game is a hotly debated topic, where some argue that they're useful to judge a player's worth in the game, while others say they're useless and only cause people to play recklessly to chase this meaningless metric. But which side of this argument is correct? Can you really rely on green circles to tell you something meaningful, or should they just be removed completely? Let's talk about it. For the uninformed, when people say green circles, they are referring to the green circles that appear on the end game scoreboard that mark whoever has the highest number in that row. When people accuse others of green circle chasing, they are usually referring to the green circles for either total kills or damage dealt, since these are the two most desired metrics to have the top score in. Undoubtedly, it feels good to think you played really well and have that feeling backed up by the scoreboard, but does the scoreboard even matter in the first place? Well, for starters, the scoreboard in general is inconsistent. For instance, what actually counts as a kill for melee slash ranged kills isn't always accurate as the game will sometimes count ranged kills as melee kills and vice versa. Likewise, the total kill count will count kills other than your own kills as your total kills sometimes which can throw off your actual kill count. For example, in the Righteous Stand finale, enemies killed by the exploding statue count as kills towards the player who most recently did damage to them. This also prevents you from getting the Field Trials challenge, which I discovered after going through Righteous Stand on Twitch Kata using nothing but the crank gun only to have my run invalidated by the stupid fucking statue. But just in general, the accuracy of the scoreboard in its counting can be questionable at times as it always isn't pinpoint accurate. But, to be fair, no one looks at the scoreboard for pinpoint accuracy, only to draw generalized conclusions based upon what they see, and usually what they see first consciously or not is who got the most green circles. But if you really take a moment to look at what exactly is counted on a scoreboard, you'd realize that some of it isn't actually that important to begin with and has zero relation to a person's skill. Ranged kills, melee kills, headshots, saves, and most revives are all pretty useless metrics to measure and offer zero aid in determining the value a person adds to the team. In my opinion, these five metrics shouldn't even be on the scoreboard in the first place, maybe with the exception of revives and replaced with something else, but that's besides the point. The only metrics that people actually look at are total kills, specials slash elites killed, damage dealt, damage to monsters, and damage taken, as these metrics actually have meaning and can show how much one contributed to the game overall, but even then there are unspoken expectations depending on who you are playing. For instance, you don't expect a foot knight to have the most damage to monsters, but you might expect a waystalker to have the highest amount of specials killed. This is because you, consciously or not, gave these people a specific role to fulfill in the team and expect them to actually fill it. Even if you simply ignore a special you heard because you assumed the Waystalker would kill it, you assigned the Waystalker the role of special killer and might develop the expectation that she'll take care of that special right now as well as all of the other specials during this run. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Having people assigned to roles in a team help to keep a team balanced and ensure you have no weaknesses, but it does become a problem if you abide by these roles too strictly. Expecting the Waystalker to focus mostly on special killing is one thing, but refusing to kill specials yourself and then complaining about the elf not doing her job when you inevitably have to kill a couple yourself is where the problem begins to arise. Likewise, complaining about the special killer not doing their job when the scoreboard shows someone else having the most special kills is completely unnecessary, because at the end of the day Vermintide is a team-based game where everyone should be doing a little bit of everything to help each other out. And as long as everyone's score at the end of the map is close-ish together, it shouldn't matter who got the most green circles. This is of course also not to mention that there are other roles in the team that can be vital to the team's survival who won't get many, if any, green circles to begin with, so you shouldn't use the scoreboard to weigh a person's worth at all, really. One thing that can and should be measured with a scoreboard, though, is extreme abnormalities. A battle wizard who only has 100 kills, a waystalker who has over 2000 damage taken, and a ranger vet who has over 300 points of friendly fire are all extreme abnormalities that should be analyzed and looked into due to how they negatively affect the team. 
Of course, if you're playing with friends, you can just discuss it, but if you're playing with randoms, I'd advise going about the topic very carefully and gently, as people don't like to be accused of making mistakes in general, and that's even more true for random strangers on the internet. But to sum it up, green circles and a scoreboard in general should be taken with a grain of salt. Other than detecting extremes, it really has no merit in determining someone's contribution to the team and should not be used as a tool to do so or as an excuse to talk down to other people. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more Vermintide content in the future. See y'all next time.